Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a document preset in Adobe InDesign. Now let's dive in. With document uh, presets, you can save document settings for page sizes, for columns, margins, bleed, and slug areas in a preset to save time and, and, and kind of ensure uh, consistency when creating similar documents. For example, you may want to create a new document uh, let me just uh, create a new document to show you an example. Uh, InDesign comes with uh, certain presets by default. In the printer preset, you have uh, these sizes. In the web preset, you have these sizes. In the mobile preset, you have these sizes. You can actually create your own, which uh, may not necessarily or don't come with um, InDesign by default. So in this case, I want to create a document that I may be creating frequently, maybe month to month or week to week. It all depends. I What I'll do is that I will either come to my new documents and uh, create the settings here, or I go to my file document presets and I define a document preset. I'll just define it here. So I could, I would uh, go to new, so once I create a new, I have my new document preset uh, dialog box and uh, I will choose the in intents just like we saw in the other um, large um, dialog box. We have the print, we have the web and we have the mobile. Now the difference is that when I choose print, it changes uh, the, the, the dimension, the, um, the units of measurements. When I use uh, web, it changes it to pixels and uh, mobile also pixels. So let's stick, um, see with print. Um, I may be creating a newsletter which is square in size, so I'll just choose maybe um, a 200 by 200 millimeters, which will be my presets for all um, documents of this size going forward. And right here also, I can actually create the number of columns. So assuming I want to have three columns as my um, number of columns in my documents, I can increase the uh, gutter size one thing you need to notice that these things are not presets you can create uh, these things are not uh, set or cast in stone i can have these presets once the document is created i can change uh, certain things to my liking so we we go on we can say okay margins we leave the margins at uh, 12.7 we could go and create a uh, bleed top bottom inside as i could uh, create it as um three uh, millimeters and i break this chain for the inside and make it zero the slug i could uh, set that up to bit in this um in this example i won't be doing that i can leave my facing pages then what i do next is that i give it a name i could say um i could give it uh, say um, corporate news letter and if i'm okay i'll click on okay but in this case i want to give it i want to make it um say uh, four pages because this document month to month or anytime it's created it's going to be four pages uh, maximum so i i click on okay and if you look right here you see that the preset has been created now we can use it by going to okay and now click okay first of all I, we can do it by going to i use it by going to create a new um new document and go to saved and we find our corporate newsletter which has been saved as our preset and i go to create and we see that it creates the whole document the uh, square size and dimension with my three columns and four pages one two three uh, four so that's basically how to create that now once you have created this you may want to share it with uh, someone else or with a team member maybe someone on your team what i would do or what you would do or should do is go to file uh, document presets uh, define and i click on the preset that i want to share and i go to save and i give it a name uh, just give it corporate corporate new news letter i can take out the presets because it, it saves it as a preset already so i click that and it is saved okay so if um or if and when the person you are sending this to receives uh this document presets what they just do is that after downloading it or 
if it was saved in a, in a device, you can they will open the device. What they do is that they go to file, document presets, define, load. So when they click on load, you have the corporate newsletter and you click on open. So what happens is that since I already have a copy of the preset here, it duplicates it. It, it creates a duplicate because it's, it's the same name. So normally when you send it to someone, they wouldn't uh, already have the presets. So it won't give it the copy one. This happens just because I already have it here and I'm loading it once again. That's why it gives me uh, this uh, copy. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe because every week I bring you new videos. So catch you in the next one. Take care.